Hi, I'm the Red Shirt Lady. Today we're going to talk about chicken. We're going to talk about whole chickens versus chicken breasts. What's, which one is more economical? Which one is more practical? Which one do you get the most meat and broth out of? Um, and the argument is that uh, in a chicken that is whole, you have the bones and the fat and the skin, so you can't compare them. So we're going to find out. Uh, this one costs $6.56. It is 6.9 pounds. And this one cost $6.49, so it was 7 cents less, and it's only 3 pounds. So 3 pounds, 6.9 pounds. Uh, I bought them today. They're frozen solid. I'm just going to stick them right in a crock pot. I'm going to cook both of them in a crock pot overnight. And that may seem kind of unconventional, but uh, it does work. I've tried it both ways, thawed and frozen. So chicken breasts are just going in here like this. And since they are ice glazed, I'm not going to add any water. If they were thawed, I would add a tad of water. Okay, I put the whole chicken in here, and it is also ice glazed, so I'm not going to add any water to it uh, as I would if it were thawed. And it does not have the organ meats. If you had the organ meats in there, you wouldn't want to put that in unless you took them out first, otherwise your broth would be bloody. So um, this one's going on medium. This one's going on low because this is more dense, bigger mass and it is frozen solid and we'll check it in the morning. Okay, now our chicken is cooked overnight and I let it cool for a good hour. I took my whole chicken out and set it in a pan to cool and I'm gonna go ahead and take out my chicken breasts from the crock pot and uh, they're kinda covered in some coagulated blood. It's kind of a white color so you wanna just wipe that off and we're gonna strain all this off before we get our broth. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to time myself here. See how long it takes for me to cut this up. And of course, it would take longer if the meat was raw. So this is really an advantage to do it cooked, especially if you don't like to handle raw meat. And this would be for um, a recipe where you're just using it for a casserole or chicken and noodles or something like that. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to cook breasts in a crock pot. Alright, that took me just a little over a minute, about a minute and 15 seconds to cube that up. And I got four cups of white meat chopped. And so now I'm going to set up to do the other chicken. I decided to go ahead and uh, pour off the broth so you can see how much I got before I start the other chicken. Okay, we have strained all that off and we have just a little over a cup, between a cup and a cup and a half of broth. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. If you don't want to watch the entire thing, you can skip ahead, but I want you to see how quickly um, you can take the meat off a of bone of the chicken if it's cooled enough. You want to kind of sift through it with your hands to make sure you haven't got any bones. So I do this the entire time. But the breast will almost come off in one piece. Here's the tenderloin. You can see there's the wishbone right there, so you can take that out of the center. And there's a couple of little bones underneath. This chicken is cooked well enough that it's just falling apart in my hands, so that's kind of how you want it so you can sift through it really well. Take that center piece out. one chunk at a time and go through it. We have mostly white meat here, and we're going to have some dark meat. And some people will say, well, I don't really like dark meat. That's why I always buy chicken breasts. Well, if you're going to save money, you're going to have to get over that. Because actually dark meat is good for you, and uh, you save a lot by using the dark meat, or by just buying dark meat. We've got a thin bone here on the leg, so you want to pull that off for sure. Get the other leg and do the same thing. Take the skin off. Then 
cartilage at the top. Pull that cartilage out just in one piece. And there's that thin bone right there. Not getting much off the wings, but there's enough there to go to the trouble. Mostly skin. And again, there's a thin bone. Let's do the other wing. There's your thin bone and your main bone. Okay, now yours may be more intact, so you can see the different parts, but I'm just going to pick through here, pull off whatever I can. This is the back side, this is called the pearl, a good nice tender piece of meat there on the back side of the, where the breast was. There's all kinds of meat that normally just gets tossed if you're not buying a whole chicken on the back side of the chicken. Sort through what's bone and skin and fat. That's the neck. And that's too fatty. Okay, so we've got it. It's just a little over eight cups, so almost twice as much meat, and then we'll see how we do on the broth. Okay, we got a little over eight cups of meat, white and dark, which is double the amount that we got on the chicken breast, and we're going to go ahead and pour off everything else that's left in the crock pot and see what kind of broth we got here. So there's two cups, I'm going to have to empty that. Okay, so another two cups. So we've got four cups of broth, and uh, you'll notice that this broth is much darker and richer than the broth that we got from the chicken breast. You're going to be able to make a lot more, a whole pot of chicken and noodles, or a couple of uh, meals worth of gravy or sauce, where this one, uh, it won't be very flavorful. You have twice as much meat, same price as this meat, although this is all white meat, if that's all you can take. But I really think that your uh, best bet is to do the whole chicken, because you're getting twice the value both in broth and in the meat. And it only took me a, a few more minutes. It took me about four and a half minutes to take all the meat off of that whole chicken. So three minutes more time.